four powerful Hollywood moguls were accused of committing the sexual abuse of teenage boys in 1999. They include X-Men director Brian Singer, former president of BBC Worldwide America and former head of programming for Fox, NBC, and the WB, Garth Anseer, Gary Goddard, the head of a Los Angeles design group, and former president of Disney TV, David Newman. Mr. Newman previously worked with the ringleader of the perversion, Mark Collins Rector. Mr. Rector is a registered sex offender that pled guilty in 2004 to luring minors across state lines for sexual acts. The accuser is Michael Egan, now 31 years old. He claims that when he was a teenager, he was given money and threatened to keep quiet about the events that took place in Hawaii and Los Angeles, or he would be eliminated along with his family. However, Mr. Egan claims to have reported it to the police and subsequently the FBI in the year 2000, but no action was taken. Mr. Egan's lawyer, Jeff Herman, has until April 24, 2014, to file additional charges against additional alleged perps in the state of Hawaii. Thursday, April 24th, is the cutoff date for past sexual abuse cases to be filed under a two-year window. All of the sordid details will be coming out in a documentary by Oscar-nominated director Amy Berg, nominated for Deliver Us From Evil, her expose on sexual abuse in the Catholic Church. The accusations have sent a shockwave of regret through Hollywood, as bigger names may be revealed for what they truly are. Sexual abuse of minors by Hollywood big shots is nothing new. The two Corys, Feldman and Haim, recounted how they were abused by executives. Corey Feldman says it led to Corey Haim's untimely death. Well-known actor Jeffrey Jones was arrested for possession of child pornography and accused of soliciting a 14-year-old boy to pose for pornographic photographs. Oscar-winning director Roman Polanski was hunted for years for the rape of a 13-year-old girl, eventually ending up doing time in a Swiss prison. The perversion in the British entertainment industry is just as flagrant. BBC presenter Stuart Hall was jailed in 2013 for 14 counts of indecent assault against girls as young as nine. BBC radio personality Freddie Zapp was accused of sexual assault of a female. And of course, we all know of Jimmy Seville's unrelenting abuse of minors that spiraled out of control for years while authorities looked the other way. There are one million children exploited every year in the global sex trade a $32 billion industry that has ties to the highest levels of government. The time has come to reclaim our dignity from the sick, elitist cancer that is rotting the very core of humanity. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. The key is to be aware of this attack and to fight back against it. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. 
super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super male vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your super male vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. Statists are now calling for a drone strike on cattle rancher Cliven Bundy and his supporters. Of course, it's virtually inconceivable that the White House would launch a predator drone strike against U.S. citizens, but the mere fact that self-proclaimed liberals are openly calling for Bundy supporters to be massacred provides us with yet another chilling insight into the warped minds of statists. Government cheerleaders were alarmed that a minority of Bunkerville protesters were carrying guns during last weekend's standoff against heavily armed Bureau of Land Management agents. This underscores the rampant hypocrisy of leftists who grandstand as gun control advocates yet fully support the state having a monopoly on firearms. One person even tweeted directly to Senator Harry Reid. Senator, wouldn't it just be easiest to order a drone strike on the Bundys? And indeed, the issue of when and under what reasons drone strikes may be issued against Americans is being debated in Congress. So would the situation at the Bundy Ranch qualify simply because Harry Reid labeled them domestic terrorists? Do statists realize that they'd be supporting a drone strike against innocent Americans at the behest of dirty Harry Reid, whose heavy-handed use of BLM agents at Bunkerville had nothing to do with an endangered desert tortoise, but rather Reid's more lucrative uses for the land around the ranch? The fact is, if the last rancher standing continued grazing cattle on the disputed Clark County land, it would be impossible to install solar energy panels for one of Reed's deals. Did Reed work his connections and order the ranch raid in a brute show of force to shore up this land grab once and for all? The director of the BLM is Senator Reed's former senior advisor, Neil Cornza. Handpicked by Dirty Harry himself, Reed said, Neil is just perfect for this position. Less than 14 days later, Cornza led the botched roundup of undocumented cattle in Bunkerville. But Reed's reach goes far beyond Bunkerville. In fact, he's really good at using his influence to reward family members and campaign donors in lucrative development deals across the state. The accounts of such activity are numerous and persistent. A Los Angeles Times article from 2003 headlined, In Nevada, the name to know is Reed, details the Clark County Conservation of Land and Natural Resources Act of 2002. Reed assured his colleagues that his bill was a bipartisan measure to protect the environment and help the economy in America's fastest growing state. Well, what Reed didn't explain when he introduced the bill in the Senate was that the bill promised a cavalcade of benefits to real estate developers, corporations, and local institutions that were paying hundreds of thousands of dollars in lobbying fees to his son's and son-in-law's firms. Reed's son-in-law, Steve Barringer, cashed into the tune of $300,000 when the senator pushed a provision allowing the Howard Hughes Corp to acquire 998 acres of federal land ripe for development in the exploding Las Vegas metropolitan area. The bill also benefited a real estate development headed by a senior partner in the Nevada law firm that then employed all four of Reed's sons by moving the right-of-way for a federal power transmission line off his property and onto what had been protected federal wilderness. So much for the environment. Hoover Institution scholar Peter Schweizer says Papa Reed has sponsored at least $47 million in earmarks that directly benefited organizations that one of his sons, Key Reed, either lobbies for or is affiliated with. In 2006, Reed was investigated by the Senate Ethics Committee concerning his role in a speculative land deal in Las Vegas. Reed purchased a tract of land, folded it into an LLC with a friend who purchased an adjacent plot and then used his clout as senator to persuade the local zoning committee to rezone the property for retail. A $400,000 investment turned into $1.1 million. Reed failed to disclose to the Federal Election Commission that he had transferred the land into Patrick Lane LLC, the partnership he created with his business associate, Jay Brown. Reed and his family appear to work within the confines of the law, which shouldn't be surprising because Reed writes that law, and illegal activity hurts the bottom line. 
Well, except for that one time last year, Nevada lobbyist Harvey Whittemore, one of Reed's longtime donors, was sentenced to two years in prison after being found guilty of violating campaign finance laws. Whittemore used straw donors to give nearly $150,000 in dirty money to Reed's campaign. This is the same Harvey Whittemore who Senator Reed accommodated by working his boys at the BLM to literally change the boundaries of the endangered desert tortoise's habitat to aid the development of his top donor. While Reed takes every opportunity to label the patriots at Bundy Ranch as un-American and domestic terrorists, a wise man once tweeted that Reed himself should be put in jail for impersonating an American. Not only is Reed working to ban private ownership of land, now that he's stared down the barrel of a Patriot's gun, he'll be working overtime on his mission to annihilate the Second Amendment. Reed is quick to lambast the billionaire Koch brothers for buying America with their deep pockets. Harry Reed is using his elected office to steal America and then sell it to his cronies around the globe. Thank you for tuning in to the show tonight. We will see you here again tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. The key is to be aware of this attack and to fight back against it. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Members can share their passcode with up to 11 other people, and your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.